Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. The first thing I always do when I wake up in the morning is I check the weather. And I got kind of excited this morning because we have some high winds in the area. So I can finally do this video about operating your drone in windy conditions. If we pull up our weather app, we can see that we have 18 mile an hour winds in our area. We also have gusts up to 29 miles per hour. Now this is something we really need to pay attention to as drone pilots. If I take my Mavic 3 Enterprise here and I turn it sideways, the wind is actually making the propellers spin on their own. So we need to understand how much wind each aircraft can handle. Now, this DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise has a wind resistance rating of 12 meters per second, which if we do the conversion is just over 26 miles an hour. Something else to consider, is the altitude you're going to be flying at. Now, here at ground level, we have 18 mile an hour winds, but the higher we go, those winds are going to increase. So we need to be cognizant of how much wind we're putting at the aircraft. You might get in a situation where you get so far away, get caught by some gusts that the drone can't actually make it back home. A nice feature for the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series is while you're flying your mission, if the wind conditions exceed a certain threshold, you're going to get a warning on your display. Taking off. Now, to give you an idea of how these wind speeds change as you gain altitude, right now we are at 50 feet above the ground, and we can see here we have a wind speed of around 20 miles per hour. And now we're at an altitude of 100 feet, and we can see the wind speed is right at our max wind resistance threshold. You can also see in the top left corner of your display, you will get a high wind warning. This means that the aircraft is reaching its max wind resistance threshold and you should not go any higher in altitude. Now we are at 125 feet in altitude and the wind speed is going anywhere from 20 miles an hour to 28 miles an hour, exceeding our max wind resistance threshold. Conditions like this are dangerous to fly a mission in, and I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes. Knowing your max wind resistance threshold for your drone is key to having a successful drone mission. One of the hardest things to do while flying in windy conditions is to actually land on your landing pad you took off from. So you always need to have a secondary landing spot in case you can't make it back to that home point. If the wind kicked up during a mission and I don't feel comfortable landing on the small landing pad that I took off from, having a secondary landing spot like this driveway is a great choice. You should have this secondary emergency landing spot chosen during your pre-flight checklist. The reason I picked this secondary emergency landing spot on the driveway is it's a wide open area with a hard surface so I don't have to take the aircraft and land it in the tall grass. When developing your drone program and your standard operating procedures or SOPs, wind resistance and wind conditions is something very important that you need to discuss. You need to set standards so if the wind conditions exceed a certain limit, you ground the flight until the conditions improve. So it's really important to know each drone's max wind resistance rating so that you can be safe while flying your missions. If you have any questions on flying in different conditions or on the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series drone, go ahead and put those questions in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see all of our latest Drone Nerds content. My name is Matt, happy flying.